Hey everyone, this is Gleb. Imagine you have five check boxes and right now they all are not checked, which we can validate by using jQuery pseudo selector colon checked. Right now, if we get all the input boxes, we've typed check box and that are checked, well, there are just none of them, zero. Okay. So imagine I ask you, okay, can you select the first two, three, four, five check boxes? How would you pick a random number? Let's just add it to this block. We can pick a random number using the low dash method random. And let's say if the minimum number is one and the top number is five inclusive. Okay, we can tell the user and boxes. So notice it picks uh, five, if we run it again, four, so it's random. Okay. But unfortunately we cannot just say, take all the check boxes and, you know, check N, right? Like it doesn't make sense. The check boxes are not like even buttons that you can click. There is no multiple true option on a check command. So instead we have to iterate over each checkbox that we want to check and check it separately. So we need to write a for loop. So let's say take k equals zero, k less than n, and then k plus one. So what do we put inside the loop? Well, we find all the checkboxes. We pick the one using equals command. So from zero, one, two, three, four, up to n. And then we say check. So right now, first three boxes and the first three boxes were checked. Again, two boxes, one box, two, four, and so on. Of course, every test after it does something with the page has to run a couple of assertions to make sure that the application has finished updating in response to our actions. In this case, after we checked n boxes, we want to validate that n boxes are checked. Okay, so we can do the same thing as we've done before and say, after you clicked all these check commands, well, the number should be n of check boxes. Okay, so for example, four, it is four. How would you check, pun intended, how many boxes are left unchecked? Okay, so we can try doing unchecked, but there is no such jQuery pseudo selector. Instead, we have to do the following. We can say not and then call it checked inside parenthesis. So this inverts the checked pseudo selector. And so now we're getting the number of boxes that should be clear. And how many? Well, if we picked a random number n, then the number of clear boxes should be five minus n. Okay, so in this case, one box checked, four unchecked. Let's run it again. Okay, three checked, two unchecked. So this is how you can work with multiple checkboxes in Cypress.